This morning, as we celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion on this World Communion Sunday, we gather around tables from far and near. Know that wherever you are this morning, you are at Christ's table. For Christ is in your heart, and you are welcome at this feast. Here at Westminster, we have an open table, which means that nothing bars you from sharing in this feast before us. Your age, denominational ties, if you have any, or any rites of passage within the Christian tradition, none of that matters here. The only thing that matters is that you want to receive the bread and the cup. That is the only requirement. At this table, all are welcome, and all means all. God be with you as we gather around this table. Together we lift up our hearts and give thanks to God. Let us pray. God of grace, you brought creation into being, transforming chaos into the gift of creation. Your spirit breathed hope into all that has life in you. You spoke to our ancestors, inviting them to walk in your way of love, justice, and peace. But their hearts became hardened and they turned from you. You sent prophets, pleading, cajoling, and calling your people back to your side. But we stayed away from your love and your compassion. Then came Jesus, whose life, death, and resurrection revealed your grace and your glory. So with those who gather around tables of peace and hope in every corner of our world, and with those who are with you in glory, we offer our praise saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. God, there is no one like your son Jesus, our brother, our teacher, and our friend who walks in your light and calls us to follow him. He invites us to set aside all differences and divisions so we might live as one in your light and love. As we remember his gentle words, his passion for justice, his fierce devotion to your way and his tender heart, we share in the mystery of our faith. Christ has died destroying death Christ is risen, bringing peace to all. Christ will come again, proclaiming God's name. Gracious God, pour out your spirit upon the gifts of this table, the bread of life and the cup of hope. May all who share in your feast be the body of Christ, light, life, and love in the world. In this hope and as your people, we praise you through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory is yours, God most holy, now and forever. And now we pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Scripture tells us that on the night he was betrayed, Jesus sat to table with his friends for one final meal. And after he had given thanks to God, he broke the bread and he showed it to them saying, this is my body broken for you. Every time you share it this way, do it in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after he had given thanks to God, he poured the cup. And he showed it to them saying, this cup holds the sign of the new covenant established by my suffering and dying. Every time you share it in this way, do it in remembrance of me.
And so it is that we come together on this World Communion Sunday to share and to remember. The bread of life. cup of hope. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this feast we have shared in remembrance of Jesus, held and strengthened. May we go from here united in faith and ready to change the world with your love. Amen. May God's love sustain you. May God's grace inspire you and give you strength. May God's peace bring you comfort. And may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of us this day and every day. Amen.